What's going on guys, King Shrats here, back into the video on the channel, and today is an exciting day for me because I'm going back to one of my favorite restaurants that I reviewed in the last year. Filipino food has become a new passion of mine because I haven't really had a lot of it until the last few episodes I did, which was Jollibee twice and then two separate restaurants. We went back to what restaurant I thought was just absolutely amazing. It was called Mama Fina's. It was located in Elmwood Park, New Jersey. I don't know the ratings, but I give it a perfect score. Um, last time I got some pretty normal dishes, I guess you would say. And uh, we kind of upped the ante just a little bit. We wanted to try some new stuff, was reading through the comments and went with your recommendations. So here we go, drop a thumbs up if you wanna see more of this type of video where I go through your comments and pick out stuff, my favorite types of foods. So let's just go through what we have. I'm gonna start with, well, probably the most common one of these that I've had something similar to it, but we got another breakfast. We got Tapsy Log, which is a beef tapas, which you see, I don't wanna get, cause there's an egg in the front. Can I just turn this around? Here, we'll move this off, it's the vinegar. Last time y'all said don't put the vinegar on the uh, food, you're supposed to dip it, so I'm gonna listen to y'all this time. But there's a fried egg, as well as some beef tapas in here, and the garlic fried rice, which, oh, I love me some garlic fried rice. Love me some garlic fried rice. I got another type of seasick. Last time I got the pork, which was the most common one and the most favorite on the menu. But I wanted to up the ante a little bit. So this time we got pusit. And if you don't know what pusit is, I hope I pronounced that right. It's squid. Have I had squid before? Yes, but not in a seasick. I've only had it like fried, like calamari type of stuff. So this time we do have some pusit seasick, which is right on the front. And I can't wait to try that. I, I know that's going to be good. I don't even care. I, I already know. And then I got, this was one of the most common things people ask for. I think it's this one. I would hope so because it was pretty expensive. Um, this cost like $30, but it makes sense because this is kare kare and what it is is oxtail. Um, I'm familiar with oxtail being part West Indian. actually had oxtail in the video yesterday, but my goodness, that smells good. Got a peanut butter smell to it. This is going to be fire, but they're in here. Let's see if we can pick one out for you real quick. Pick you a winner. There they are. Oh, that's going to be so good. I can smell that. There's also okra and uh, string beans in here as well. But I do have some white rice that I'm going to eat it with uh, when I start actually chowing down a bit. Let me just cover this up because if I spill this, I'm actually going to cry. And we do have another one that was asked for a lot, um, which was sinigang. Again, I hope I didn't mispronounce that, but it's a pork um, dish. I believe that's cabbage in there as well. Ooh, that smells good too, which was beef calderetta. Again, I hope I don't mispronounce this stuff. I tried to do as much homework as I possibly could, which is like a, a Filipino beef stew is what it says. So that is what it is. Let's get into this video. I am super ready to go. And I'm gonna start this party off right with the pusit sisig with the garlic rice, got fried egg, cause I love fried eggs on everything. But I've had the pork sisig before. This has that same crispy vibe to it. I can see that it's definitely, the same type of seasoning, I guess you would say, but let's see what it tastes like just alone. Let's go. Garlic rice, the garlic rice. This is where the passion comes in. The texture, the crispiness, the flavor with the garlic rice. I ain't even get into the egg yet. You might want to get that car fixed. I'm not gonna change, and we're not editing that. Mm. Let me get the egg. Yeah, still running. We love that. Right here. Why is it always so good? Biggest difference between this one and the last one that I had? Last one, I said it, and people said that I was right. I tasted mayo. I don't get the mayo this time. The squid doesn't have like a super fishy taste or anything like that. Um, to be perfectly honest, if somebody didn't tell me, other than the fact that I can see little tentacles. I would never know. The flavor is so on point. It's just the texture and the crispiness. And you get a little bit of the creamy from the egg. Mm. So good.
I'm glad I got a little mini shovel to eat this with because I can't eat it fast enough. The crazy part for me, seasoning's on point. The crispy texture's on point. How they managed to make this not, a lot of squid I've ever had, you've got to make sure you cook it right or it gets chewy. Not remotely chewy. Pleasurable. Then you get the red onion. The way they make this, if you eat it in house, it's served on a sizzling plate. And you can tell because the sizzling plate is usually cast iron that it gets a good crust on every bite. So every bite just has this crunchy, but delicious, the red onion, to balance it, give it a little bit of, and you need the garlic rice. I'm not editing that. And the egg, and it's just a home run. I still like the pork better because I like that little bit of mayo it had in there, but. I went with the most exotic sounding protein that they had. At this point, just because of the way they know how to cook it perfectly and season it, it doesn't even matter. You can use anything. You can probably use this plastic and put it in here and it tastes good. It doesn't matter. Absolutely delicious. And their garlic fried rice is super garlicky. Aromatic. And so on. But you've got to try this stuff, man. You've got to try it. Mm. Last bite. I have to at least finish the egg. Mm. That's how you make excuses to keep eating. So good. So good. Okay. Yum. All right, let's get to the sea log, the breakfast platter. Top sea log, beef tapas with the garlic rice. Let me see if I can get you because it's hard. It's, it's like far in there. Um, I, I love the amount of rice they give you, which is just so good. Got to have the fried egg. And they said you got to put the vinegar. You got to dip it. You like the meat? I guess. We'll do that in a second. I just want to try this beef with the rice just to see what it is. Don't fall, please. Don't fall. Don't fall. No, here. We're just going to move you on. Give you a little nudge. Seasoning is on point in the beef. Oh, there's a lot of beef in here. It's like covered by the rice. Need a little rice. Okay. So I'm gonna just take a little beef and do this. We're gonna dip it in this vinegar right here. Look. Oh, they gave me two eggs. Yeah. There's another egg in here. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, we going in. We going in now. That just, there's, that was like the prize of all prizes. <laughs> that was a prize, man. Nice, man, my dad. The tapas has a vinegary, a little bit of a note to it. I don't really feel like the vinegar was necessary. It was more necessary with the sweet. Last time I got long shilog, which is like a sausage. And the vinegar kind of cut through the fattiness of it. But this meat, like, it's not overly fatty. And I feel like the richness of the egg just works with it. I don't necessarily need it. But the texture of the meat, it's not like rubbery it's not chewy it's cooked it's cooked well done too but it's still tender like i'm using my fork or should i say my spoon to cut it no problem get a little bit of that creamy that egg of richness right there to go like there we go that's the ultimate bite mm -mm -mm. yeah just mix it up and you get a little there we go Get on top. 
Now we go in. Let's do this. I don't think it's necessary. Not on this. Like this is breakfast. I'll be happy as hell waking up. Excellent. It's really good. And I'm so glad that they gave me an extra egg. Because it works so well with the rice and the beef combo. I always get to this point where I know I'm supposed to stop eating. But I can't. Right here. That's the bite. Hmm. Mm. A little bit more. Nobody's gonna know. It's not like I'm eating it on camera or anything. No, oh, yeah. Last bite, last bite. Okay, one more. Fantastic. Okay. Kari Kari, aka oxtail. It's an oxtail stew, string beans, okra. I'm not the biggest fan of okra. And the oxtail itself, I've never had it. This is my first time. So we're gonna get some of this right out. I got just the rice here. We ate all the beef out of it. So we'll just use that instead of having to use another dish. There's the oxtail. We're gonna get a couple of these out. This was the most expensive thing on the menu. Um, look at these pieces, man. Look at that. This costs $30. And oxtail is really, woo, really expensive these days. Come on, here we go. All right, let's get a little bit of the a little bit of, and then we'll pour some rice we'll just do this like there we go and we'll pour some rice and we'll go from there if i need more rice but oxtail is is delicious to me this is super tender you can tell it's been cooking like in the stew so we're gonna just get a nice big serving of this um it smells delicious i i, I purposefully didn't look up what's in it as far as like how they use a seasoning because i want to kind of just taste it and then just see where it goes from there. But it looks like we've got enough. I'm gonna use a little bit of more of this rice from here. And we're gonna get the sauce on there. And we're gonna get there we go. Nice big huge piece. That's really good. Pieces of oxtail too, man. There we go. Nice big piece right here. There's definitely peanut, like a peanut butter almost, um, in here. Gives a little bit of like a creamy texture. It also adds body to like the what the stew was, so it definitely makes it thicker. It's really good. Definitely, as it starts to cool, I'm getting the peanut taste even more. It also came with this. I'm sure you're going to tell me what it is. It has a fishy smell. Um, okay. Let's just do that. Not quite sure how to eat this. I guess we're just going to find out. Chilies. Like a spice. Maybe shrimp. Shrimp paste? Shrimp paste? Definitely has like a fishy, almost like a shrimp. That's my guess. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It adds a little different to it though, like a little, little bit of a, like a wake up. I'm just gonna grab this like that. I love oxtail, and this is fantastic. Being West Indian, it tastes a lot different. Not the meat itself, but the sauce around it. Than what I'm used to eating. As a person who eats oxtail. It's a different one, but it's a good one. I'm not trying to be cute. 
sometimes with oxtail, you just gotta go in. Cause you gotta get all the, out of the meat. Mm. Yeah. Looks like bok choy as well, which is like a Chinese cabbage. Um, bok choy. Green beans. Oh, that was juicy as hell. Sorry. And there's the okra. Not the biggest fan of okra. But. That almost has an asparagus like texture. Let me see this. Mmm. We gotta get a little more. We have to get like, a little bit. Yeah, I'm just gonna use a little bit of white rice. Nobody's gonna know. It's okay. I just want one more oxtail. A little bit of this white rice, just want to let it soak up all the love in here. Yes, I just said that out loud. Okay, here we go. Big piece, big piece, big piece, big piece. Bi oh, come back. That's the no, 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 no. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. That's the one I want. That's the one I want. That's the one I want. Get a little bit of. Mm. All right, then we'll do. Someone's gonna tell me if I'm doing this wrong, but that's okay. That's why we do this. The only way to learn is to do stuff. If I look stupid, hey, I still love y'all. Let's do this. Right here, this bite, this bite. Look at this, look at this. That is so good. This is a party. So good. For people who haven't had oxtail, it's it's just a fatty beef, pretty much. Mm. You know that paste actually adds something to it. Really good. And then it soaks up the rice. winner really good this was so recommended by everybody in the comments you gotta try this so we did wow wow stop eating i still got two more things to try Fantastic, fantastic. Moved one of those things out of the way. This way I got my little bowl here. Um, now this is another stew. Beef calderetta. Um, I know I probably mispronounced that, but it's a beef stew. I got some carrots in here, got some peppers, got some sauce, lots of beef. Um, I think that's a chickpea. Yeah, those are chickpeas. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got. Maximum it out. The smell on this is crazy. No argument here. It's like if somebody took a beef stew and put their own spin on it. Big chunks of beef, super tender. Mm. Super tender. But then there's a spice to it. That lets you know you're not eating regular beef stew. You are definitely not. The beef is so good, man. There's a vinegar base to it as well. The other thing I'm getting is that the, the stew itself um, has a tomato base for sure. It's got a tomato base to it. It would make sense. I looked it up before when I was ordering stuff. Beef caldereta. It's the word for cauldron in Spanish is caldera. 
So that's where it comes from. Big stew. Perfectly understandable. Tomato fish. Super tender. And super on point. I have no problem with that. Mm. Obviously, I only got a small, so there's not a lot here, so I can't see or eat the whole thing. I learned my lesson. I ordered the big dishes. I ate it all. So we did it otherwise. And now, love me some pork. Got the pork sinigang. It looks like there's cabbage on the top right here. Let's get some of this out. Yeah, it's definitely cabbage. Big cabbage leaves. Of course, I missed like a freaking idiot. Okay, big pieces of pork right here and right here. And then we'll do like that. Make sure everybody's in the pool. Okay, let's go. Get the pork here. Cheers. Right away. Two things. Number one, I realized that this is a soup, but I wanted to try it like outside of it. But you get a sweet and sour right away. That's like the first taste you get. You get a little bit of sweet, but then you definitely there's a sour element to this. I like my soup with rice. I know it might be weird. I was told that. I understand. But here, we'll do it this way. You can get a little bit of broth. It's like sweet and sour soup. That's exactly what it is. I always like rice in my soup. It gives a little more body. I know it might sound weird. But big chunks of pork. What tastes like rib. Maybe rib. Not sure what cut of pork it is, but almost like a citrusy. I know this is going to sound like I'm, I'm sh like grabbing at straws here, but my guess is like tamarind. Like I remember having tamarind flavored things and you're getting that kind of thing. But there's also sugar in here. That gives it a sweet part. I got more pork. I know it's got to be a piece of pork in here, right? Yep. Here we go. W. Let me cut this one up. We get a little bit of a chili flour, powder, flour, taste. It is definitely like a like a different taste, like sweet and sour. I have a hot and sour soup, but never sweet and sour. Get a little of this cabbage. I want to have this big piece. So I'm gonna try to break it up real quick. There we go. Cabbage has a nice crunch to it. It's like a like an interesting flavor, and I mean that in a good way. It's really good different too. I'm glad we kind of went left field and tried some different stuff because I've never had any of this and it is delicious. This place, I don't have much to go off of as far as getting Filipino food, but every person I know in this area that's Filipino says you had to go to Mama Fina's and we pushed the envelope a little bit today, got the oxtail, got squid, everything still was a W. Um, you just got to try stuff, man. It's, it's delicious. I, I liked everything that I had today. I would 100% eat it again. I would recommend that you try it. Everything was just so good. And it's hard for me to stop eating, but we're right around Thanksgiving, so I don't want to go too crazy. So I'm still on a pitch count, but I wanted to show some love and try some of this food, man. If anybody wants some leftovers, you can't have them because I think I'm going to eat it later. Don't tell nobody. But absolute W, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. We just kind of tried something and, and we went with it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But we'll be back, though, tomorrow. More content. I love y'all. The hand signs. They made it to YouTube.